Well, those are your latest headlines. Hello and welcome to France Van Cats. I'm Louise Hanna. Rows of dead Syrian children lying in a mosque in bloody shorts and T-shirts. The haunting portrait of the latest violence in Syria after more than 100 people were killed in Hula in Homs province on Friday. Well, a spokesman for Syria's foreign ministry is right now holding a press conference. Well, let's go live now to France Van Katz, Adam Platz, who's in Beirut. Adam, a denial from the government and yet the opposition says that regime troops carried out a massacre. Well, Adam, do stay on the line for us. I believe that we can now cross to the press conference and have a listen in to what the spokesman's saying. Do bear with us. So as we were saying, Adam, a denial there that the Syrian government is responsible. What's the situation like in Hula at the moment? Is there still fighting there? Thank you very much, Adam. Adam Pletz reporting there for us from Beirut. Mali's Tuareg rebels and the Islamist group Ansar Dean say they're joining forces to create an independent Islamic state in the north. They say they'll appoint their own government that'll rule over Azawad, which is what they call northern Mali. Well, both groups are swept in during March's military coup, seizing territory and ousting former government officials. Well, Moussa Ag Asarid, a spokesperson for the Tuareg group, the MNLA, has told France Van Kat this morning that both sides made concessions. Iran says it plans to build a new nuclear plant next year. Quoting the head of the country's atomic energy organization, a state television says it'll go alongside the existing one in the southern city of Boucher. Afghan authorities say an airstrike by NATO troops killed eight members of a family in the eastern Paktia province. They say a man, woman and six children were hit on Saturday night in the Gerda Saria district in Paktia. NATO says it's investigating the incident. In Egypt, the man who's in third position in the presidential election, according to results by state media, is calling for a recount. Hamdi Zabahi claims there have been violations in the first round of voting that's left Muslim Brotherhood Mohamed Morsi and former Prime Minister Ahmed Shafiq pitted against each other. Well, France Van Katz, Catherine Stapley in Cairo has more. And the red carpet in Cannes is being hoovered for the final time before the annual film festival closes tonight. Well, happily, France Van Katz, Catherine Nicholson has been following it all for us and joins us now from the world's glitziest seafront. Hello, Catherine. Last year, Cannes was all about the black and white movie The Artist and a spot of controversy from Lars von Trier. What's been making the waves there this year? Well, thank you very much, Catherine. That was Catherine Nicholson reporting their live for us for the Cannes Film Festival. That's it. We're back in 20 minutes.